So if this is not a hilarious headline, I honestly don't know what is. The fact that uh, people who have been laid off from Bud Light are finding work at pro-American companies is hilarious. Because again, I really genuinely feel as if people don't want to put up with this diversity, equity, and inclusion nonsense. Probably 90% of employees in modern day America don't want to deal with this nonsense that's pushed down their throats by woke freaking diversity hires or woke diversity officers. They want to make all of these courses to try to indoctrinate the workers of America. Now, what am I talking about? Well, apparently an article from Outkick says that laid off Bud Light workers are already finding work at pro American companies. This is pretty damn hilarious is considering that they just recently fired these people and now they're finding jobs at companies that actually like the country that they operate in. I know it's crazy to think about. So let's get into this article from Outkick and see what it's talking about. It says laid off Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light workers are already finding work at self-described pro-American companies. When one door closes, they say, we hope that this results in more and more positive actions that hopefully send a strong counteracting message to the actions of Bud Light over the past few months, said Michael Seifert, the CEO of Public, one of the two conservative businesses who have opened said door. It's pretty amazing to witness this parallel economy that's emerging that's based on meritocracy and excellence. Public and Red Balloon are the two organizations swooping in to scoop off recently laid off Anheuser-Busch workers, of which there were many. AB announced last week that it was laying off 2% of its U.S. workforce force, primarily corporate and marketing roles. Conservative job board Red Balloon and patriotic online marketplace public immediately published an open letter to the unemployed Bud Light workers offering to help them find new jobs at pro-America businesses. We're sorry that Anheuser-Busch leadership prioritized left-wing ideology over sound business practice. The letter said, you are the ones that suffer for Bud Light's disastrous decision. And you know what? I agree with that a thousand percent. It's never the people who are super high up that are ever going to suffer from the decisions that are made. It's always the people who are the working class. It's the people on the bottom who actually do all the work. They're the ones who are going to suffer when things get bad. When things get bad to the point where these CEOs have made terrible decisions, or in this case, the VP of marketing has made a terrible decision, yeah, it's not them that's going to get killed. Now, don't get me wrong, Anheuser-Busch did get rid of Alyssa Hernerscheid, but I guarantee you they replaced Alyssa Hernerscheid with someone just as bad. So it's ingrained in their corporate culture. It's never going to go away. It's always going to be there. So another thing too is that when they make these companies pro-America, that also worries me because that means that it's basically super right-wing or it's trying to make itself a super right-wing thing and you really shouldn't be that. You should just be a workplace. Like just be a place Place that people can work regardless of whatever side that they're politically on and just make money like that that should be the only focus but unfortunately it seems like for these corporations it's never just about making money it's always about the message and whatever they have to push to get that message across they're going to do it it says people like to say go well go broke uh it's more like get well go broke i, I don't know why these people cannot get that and in reality, the economic consequences really fall on the wealthy liberals that make the woke decision. Both Public and Red Balloon will distribute your resumes to our respective networks of tens of thousands of pro-America businesses. Not a bad little fallback plan, Seifert told Fox Business earlier this week that they've already received quite a few resumes. I can tell you that we have placed some incredible interviews and are very excited that the ball is rolling down the court with more than a few of these folks, he added. On top of that, several former Bud Light employees have apparently voiced their displeasure with the company to the CEO. They told me very explicitly and clearly that the values at the top of Anheuser-Busch that have led to marketing decisions like this do not represent their employee base, Seifert said. They're not alone. Bud Light sales have plunged for four straight months with experts warning of a coming reset at retailers across the country. Molson Coors CEO Gavin Hattersley predicted early this week that Bud Light could lose shelf space this fall amid the backlash. And that's another thing that's been happening. Bud Light is threatening to lose their shelf space. They, they, If you guys don't realize, a lot of these retail spaces, there's only so much space to go around in a store, right? So they have planograms, they have end caps and things like that that are designated for certain products. And Bud Light had a pretty massive shelf space in most retail stores, I would imagine. But now since the sales have slumped so much, these retailers now have to allocate that shelf space out to other brands to try to pick up some money and increase sales 
in the store. Nobody wants to have a brand that is not being bought on mass like it was before. So they're going to try to bring it in with something like Modelo is special, for example, that's going to outsell. But like they're going to try to reallocate shelf space and try to make it make sense for the retailers. So again, this is going well beyond Bud Light losing sales. Bud Light is losing shelf space. Bud Light is losing partnerships with retailers. Bud Light is feeling this in every capacity that you could possibly feel something as a company. And it was all from one freaking decision ladies and gentlemen one decision led to the downfall of a mega multi-million corporation it's insane to me that that is really what the reality is but it is and they try to deny it they try to say oh no 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 it's just consumers changing up their uh, buying practices it's inflation is this no 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 everybody else is doing just fine even the people who are losing money are losing maybe one to two percent you lost over 30 percent give or take in terms of sales week after week after week after week you lost that and you have not gained it back so if you're trying to convince myself or anybody else that this has anything to do with other than dylan mulvaney you're a liar and you're trying to downplay it to save face and you're not going to get away with it so it says Hattersley set on a conference call with analysts that retailers are already reallocating space to other brands during shelf resets that take place in the spring with more resets to come in the fall. The Wall Street Journal reported Thursday in bars and other on-premise channels, the company gained more than 12,000 tap handles in the quarter, he added. So listen, straightforward, ladies and gentlemen, Bud Light is screwed. Bud Light is absolutely royally screwed. I don't know what they're going to do in the upcoming quarter where they're going to have to have their shelf space relooked at, but they're going to they're going to have to do something. I, I really don't know what they're going to do. They've tried multiple different marketing avenues that they can explore to try to make things better, but it's falling on deaf ears. Nobody's listening to their marketing. Nobody's looking at their commercials and not roasting it. Nobody, nobody's watching the videos they put on YouTube and not making fun of it. Like the, the dislike rate ratio is insane the comments nobody cares everybody's just roasting but light through and through so i don't know what they're gonna do to try to get themselves out of it but i think at this point they need to just admit that it's not gonna happen and they probably should just figure out a way to move on with the less sales because they have no choice right so they're trying everything they can to make it better it's clearly not working and honestly it's probably only going to continue to make things worse even if it's just slightly compared to what it was before so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out